So today we're going to be doing a couple of centerpiece DIYs. The first one that I'm going to be showing you guys how to make is the one for her main table. So the um, bowl that we have is quite bigger. The bowl I got, I think, at um, Hobby Lobby. And it is, I don't think it says what, it is the 8-inch bubble bowl. Um, so we got a big one for her table. And then we also got um, the letters to spell out her name. So we have A-D-D-Y. We have some... Um, aquarium decorations these are just like the little um shells we also have one of these foam four inch half balls along with um the bamboo skewers and some um sand you can use rocks if you want but we wanted sand and then of course you need a glue gun so let's go ahead and get started all right, so the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and take off all these little tags. These little foam letters, I got them at Walmart. I think they were about a dollar each. I think it was like 97 cents each. So you just want to take all of these little sticker things off because you're not going to need them. Okay, now that you have that, you're going to want to head, go ahead and get your little skewers. And you want to stick them in the middle because you don't want it to look... It's not going to look amazing in the back, but people aren't going to see it. But you don't want the skewer coming out the back. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and just stick that through here. It doesn't need to be too far in. So you're going to do all the letters and just start sticking them in skewers. Alright, so now we're going to move on to the next step. Just set those aside. You're going to want to go ahead and take your 4 inch um, half ball and then just go ahead and open that up. I always keep scissors handy for opening everything up because I am horrible at that. And these are very messy so just keep that in mind when you're doing this. You're going to want to go ahead, if you want, you can take the stickers off the bottom of this. But, um, to me it doesn't really matter just because I'm going to put sand so you're not going to see the stickers. So you're just going to want to go ahead and take this and then just put some glue on there. So just put it all along the bottom of it. And then just go ahead and stick it straight down right in the middle of the bottom of this. Just like that. So now that's on the bottom, it's not going to come off or anything like that. So that is going to be the base for your letters. So you want to go ahead and grab your letters and go ahead and start sticking them in the ball. You're just going to want to go ahead and just pop them right in there. Alright, so now we have that and it's very wobbly as you can see. They're all stuck in, you can see her name. Some of them do overlap a little bit, but it's not bad. So, um, I'm happy with it like that. So I'm going to go ahead and take the sand and open that up and just go ahead and put some in here. You want to make sure it covers the um, foam ball. So that looks pretty good. I think I'm going to add a little bit more. Okay, and then you also. You just need to take your little shells and just go ahead and just lay them however you want in there. Um, I'm just going to add a few in here and just kind of randomly just lay them in there. Just to give it some more character. Again, Adeline's birthday theme is bubble guppies. So um, this is kind of like ocean-y themed and um, I thought it was super cute. So yeah, now that you have that, then this is going to be our centerpiece for her main table. Uh, obviously it isn't done. We are still going to be putting 
water in here as well as fish. We are gonna buy some fish to put in here, live fish and some water. So we're gonna fill this up with water and put some fish, but that's not gonna be till the day of her party because we don't want anything to happen to the fish because I'm not very good with them. So yeah, this is gonna be her centerpiece for her main table. And now we'll show you guys how to do the centerpieces for the smaller tables. Okay, so for the guest centerpieces, it's pretty much the same concept except obviously it's not going to have her name coming out of it. We're not doing anything coming out of it. So this is just um, basically just the sand and the stuff. Once again, I'm not going to take off the stickers just because the sand covers it up so it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go ahead and take my sand again and just put some in here. You don't want to overfill it because you got to remember there is going to be fish in here. So you don't want um, them not to have enough for them. Just go ahead and put your sand in there and then go ahead and take your ship, your shells and just place them in there however you want. You can get different colors, you can get rocks, you can get creative with this and do different things but I like to keep it sort of simple and I like this little beachy kind of thing so that is how you do this one. That's all you do. Obviously you're going to fill it up with water and add a goldfish in there so we'll probably have one or two goldfish in here. Obviously this isn't where they're going to be staying for a long time but um, I think it's a super cute centerpiece. Alright guys, so here is the finished centerpieces. I think they came out super cute. Once again, if you have a child who has a really long name and you don't have a short nickname for them, do um, a bowl that has, it may be smaller, but it, it has a wider um, opening at the top. So there you go. This is the main centerpiece one, and then these two are for the um, guest table so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this super quick and super easy and super cheap DIY I hope you guys enjoyed it thumbs up if you did and I will see you guys next time for more birthday party series DIYs